Good day, people of YouTube. I am the Asian Pirate, and this is coming on a story that was published on Yahoo Finance on the 10th, and the headline is titled, Three Reasons Star Wars Land Will Be More Popular at Disney World. According to the article, uh, during a financial call this week, Disney reported uh, mixed financial results, which basically shocked the market. Um, they revealed that attendance at their uh, domestic theme parks declined, while ticket prices have soared over the past year, and weather had definitely played an influence in that as well. So what do we know from this earnings call for third quarter? Number one, they reported that revenue was up 33%, and I have to feel that a lot of that increase in revenue came from Disney's strong box office. As of this date, Avengers Endgame has earned around $2.8 billion, Aladdin has earned around $1 billion, and Toy Story 4 earned an impressive $959 million in the box office. So while Disney has seen an uptick in revenue of 33%, when they factor in their operating costs overall, uh, their adjusted earnings per share was down a whopping 28%. And a lot of that had to do this year with the acquisition of Fox businesses, including Fox Studios, which had a abysmal year with the bombing of X-Men Dark Phoenix. Fox Studio had an operating loss this year to this date of around $170 million. And most of that is because of the horrible, horrible outing of Dark Phoenix. Okay, so let's go back to this article. And we're going to look at the three reasons why the Motley Fool believes Galaxy's Edge Disney World will do better. The first one is titled The Ins and Outs of Hotels. And it says, If Disneyland took on Disney World for a game of Monopoly, it wouldn't be a fair fight. Disneyland has three on-site hotels offering a little more than 2,200 rooms. They're not cheap, and even the value-priced option starts at $459 a night during the summer. It's a different story at Walt Disney World, where there are more than 30,000 rooms across more than two dozen on-site options. This matters because Disney loves a captive audience. It has a fleet of shuttle buses at Disney World picking up guests at Orlando International Airport at no additional charge. It then provides a growing number of complementary transportation options to get around the massive resort, including advanced access to expedited fast pass queue reservations a month before everybody else. The longer the stay, the lower per, the per day ticket prices are too. In short, Disney World has a much larger built-in audience and it knows how to pull the levers to keep guests close. So, my opinion on that I have been to Disney World a number of times. I'm only three hours away. Only one time in my life have I ever stayed at a resort hotel, and that was because I was offered a special deal at the time. And even then, it was really high price. I, I had to really splurge for that. Uh, most times that I've been to Disney World, I've either, either just gone for a day trip or I've had to stay at some flea bag, you know, three, two or three star hotel off property just to be able to afford to go. Prices for the hotel alone is, is not, you know, when you're a blue collar worker like me, I can't afford to stay at a Disney Resort hotel. Number two, early entry is a huge on property hotel perk. Uh, so it says here, Disney World is giving early risers a special treat that Disneyland did not. Three hours of early morning access to Star Wars Galaxy Edge. 
For the first two months of operation after the mad flurry of the expansion's debut weekend, guests staying at one of Walt Disney World's on-site properties will be able to get into Disney's Hollywood studio at 6 a.m., experiencing Galaxy's Edge for three hours before everyone else can check it out. Disneyland, on the other hand, didn't open its Star Wars-themed land until the official park opening. This is a savvy move. Obviously, it's going to fuel hotel reservations through September and October as folks try to get an early jump on day guests in checking out Galaxy's Edge. And I think this is indicative of what Disney learned from their debacle uh, with Disneyland Galaxy's Edge. They stated in their earnings call that the reason that attendance was down at Disneyland was because they were managing the number of guests that could attend Galaxy's Edge in an effort to maintain a higher guest experience, which to me is complete bullcrap. Anyway, it sounds like they learned from their mistakes there and they are going to do whatever they have to to draw more people to stay at the resort and to get to Galaxy's Edge. The number three reason why Disney World has a leg up is because Disney World is bigger. Disney World attracts far more visitors than Disneyland, and not just because it has twice as many theme parks, two water parks, and far more available land and lodging options. Disney World's Magic Kingdom is the most visited theme park on the planet. So, let's serve up a very fresh example. Disneyland's Haunted Mansion celebrated its 50th anniversary on Friday, and there were themed festivities on both coasts. One would also expect that the ghostly attraction would be a hot ticket at both parks, and at 3 p.m. in the afternoon, Florida's Haunted Mansion had an 80-minute wait. At the same time, noon at Disneyland, but still peak visiting hours, the wait time was just 35 minutes. Even for the meeting milestone for a Disneyland attraction, there is more interest for Disney World's model that came several years later. Disneyland tripped itself up by limiting visits to a reservation system to visit Galaxy's Edge, something that Disney World could never do with its massive overnight audience clamoring for access. According to, uh, what's his name, Rick Moranis, who owns shares of Walt Disney World, he is of the Motley Fool, um, he's banking on the fact that the sheer size and scope of Disney World, as well as the number of hotels, is going to work in favor for Galaxy's Edge Orlando to do better than California. Uh, what this article fails to mention is the intangible stuff, such as the, uh, the fan, the diehard fans that are sick and tired of Disney's version of Star Wars. And today, I am very angry indeed. And how they've disrespected the fans of Star Wars, how they've bastardized the franchise with the sequel trilogy, uh, how horrible The Last Jedi was. There are no words for the level of disgust and rage that I am feeling right now. Uh, the Disney will not admit their mistakes to the Star Wars fans, and a lot of diehard Star Wars fans are not going to want to invest their money on Disney Star Wars, even if they had the money to spend. They're not going to want to invest in it. So, put a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Have you been to Disneyland Galaxy, Galaxy's Edge? Are you planning on going to the Orlando theme park? Um, or is, are you a Star Wars fan that just is completely boycotting Disney Star Wars? If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to receive future notifications. And please give this video a thumbs up so others can find it. I am the Asian Pirate. Live long and prosper.